Today I'm going to show you how to make these no-bake peanut butter bars. I'm making them for a Halloween party that I'm having, um, just because they're really quick and easy. They taste sort of like a Reese's peanut butter cup or something similar, um, but um, being as it's a bit warmer uh, in Australia at this time of year, I didn't want to do anything that requires cooking, so these are so easy to make and really tasty. Okay, so I've got everything assembled and ready to go. You're going to need, um, this is actually a 20 by 30 centimeter um, sort of a lamington pan or a shallow baking dish, maybe about one inch sides on it. And that would be about 9 by 12 and a half inches, roughly. So you'll need that for a pan to make these in. Uh, then for my ingredients, I've got 250 grams of butter, which is about 8.8 .8 ounces. We're going to melt that. Then we've got two cups of sweet biscuit crumbs. Now they just come in a box like this in Australia. You could use crushed graham crackers or any biscuit you like to crush up like that. Um, next we're going to need two cups of icing sugar. One cup of peanut butter, plus four extra tablespoons that we're going to add later to the chocolate. And then here I've got one and a half cups. You can use dark chocolate chips or uh, melts as I've done here. The first thing we want to do is melt the butter. Now you can do that in a saucepan on the stove. I'm just going to cut it in smaller chunks and microwave it. Whatever works for you. Okay, so what I did is I just put it in the microwave. Um, I put it on an auto defrost setting just for a couple minutes and just check it every 20 or 30 seconds. You probably only need to let it go for maybe a minute. Um, and when it's done, you might have a couple of small lumps, but just stirring that, it'll melt in. That's quite, quite melted enough. So the next thing we're going to do now is add in our biscuit base or graham cracker crumbs if you're using those, the icing sugar, and the peanut butter. Mix that all together real well. So take that mixture. You don't need to grease your pan at all because there's plenty of butter in here. So we're just going to pour this into this pan and even it out. So just spread that out nice and evenly. Now it's really soft right now because that butter is melted, but that will firm up nicely. The next step is we're going to melt the chocolate together with about four tablespoons of peanut butter. Now you can use an actual measuring spoon. I'm just going to give a rough estimate. There's one. Now I'm going to go in the microwave with this, with this um, at full power and just stop and stir it every 20 or 30 seconds again. By all means, you can use a pan on the stove if you'd rather. So this, for mine, because I use melts, I think they go a little bit quicker than chocolate chips do. I actually only let it in for about 30 seconds and stirred it, and then another 15, and it was all pretty well melted. The little lumps you see are just nuts from the peanut butter. So now, we're just going to spread this on top. Now, you can use the spatula or the back of a spoon. I just want to sort of spread that evenly and carefully over the top of the base. Okay, so just carefully spread that out, not pressing too hard, but just enough to get it spread evenly over the dish. Now we're going to put that in the fridge to set, and now I'm just going to go ahead and slice them. We start in the middle. Well, there you go, I've just dished up a few. Um, I'm actually going to put them in a larger container and serve them for a party we're having, but um, you can make these anytime. They're quick and easy, no bake, easy, um, especially on a hot day, they're nice and cool. So give them a shot. And if you like Reese's peanut butter cups and things like that, you'll love these. They've got a similar taste.